Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're gonna find out what Bill wanted to hear. Please remember this banner resonates for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what Bill wants you to know. Somebody's very focused on you. Somebody is focusing on you and I am getting that this person, they're definitely, they know what they want, okay? They have their eyes on you and it, there's an energy here where this person, they don't want to settle for less, like this person wants you and only you, right? They feel like, like, they feel like they see something in you that they, they have never seen in anybody else. Like, they definitely feel like you're very unique. I keep hearing marshmallow. Please let me know if that resonates. Um, they feel like you're very unique. They also feel like you're very, um, focused on yourself. I do see this person, person being very focused on you. And this person communicating this, like, I am getting that if they haven't already told you, they're about to tell you, they're about to be very vocal about the way that they're feeling here, okay? I do see this person rushing in with communication, definitely being very honest with how they're feeling. Definitely very determined here to be with you. This person, they seem to, when they put their mind to something, that, like, they, it's like they, what they want, like, they get, okay? They definitely have that type of mentality where it's like, whatever they are determined to get, they get it, right? And there's a lot of determination surrounding this person. I do see this person, there's a sense of them really wanting to protect you. Like, there's a sense that they need to protect you almost. Like, they feel like... It's like they're watching you and they feel like they need to protect you. Or it's like they want to... They definitely just want to make you there, basically, right? This person has a very protective energy. This is giving me, um, like, this is definitely somebody that wants to keep you safe, right? This person wants to see you healthy. They really want to see the best, right? For some of you, this person may have children. I do see that this person, they may, so I am getting that they may have come out of a very hurtful connection, okay, um, and the thing is, this person seems to, they know what they want, okay, they know what they want in a person, and they know what they don't want, and this person really has their eye on you, right? I do see this person seeing you as like a golden opportunity. I see this person being very romantic. They're coming in with communication. They're being very honest with how they're feeling. This is somebody that they're very upfront, okay? They're very confident. They're very upfront. They seem to... This person doesn't hide their emotions, right? I just seen 444. Again, there's a sense that they want to protect you, right? This is somebody that definitely embodies 
a for some of you this is a divine masculine they embody a divine masculine energy this person is very spiritual they also don't mind being alone whoever this is like they have spent a lot of time alone they would actually prefer to be alone than to be around anybody fake right they don't mind being alone they're very intuitive they're very spiritual and they feel like again you're very intuitive you're very spiritual you could be dealing with a virgo strong virgo energy could be dealing with a gemini There's, you may, this may actually be a friend of yours, right? But I see this person being very romantic about you. This feels like, it's like an, a friend or maybe it's somebody like that you work with or something like that. very confusing energy though I am getting at the moment this person in the energy of communication focusing on you in the past there may have been things that were off this person may have ghosted you they may have walked away from you they may have caused confusion The thing is, in the past, this person, they really didn't know what they wanted. Like, in the past, they thought they wanted to have, like, options. I am getting that they weren't 100% over something either. There was some type of stressful situation that they were keeping themselves in. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Interesting, I'm getting that on your end. Like this sort of is over, right? Somebody came in between this connection. I am getting somebody came in between this connection and they sort of came in between it on purpose. Like this person, whoever came in between this connection, they seen that whoever this is was very focused on you and it's like they wanted to take the attention off of you they definitely I'm hearing Holly let me know if that resonates they definitely it's like whoever this was they weren't actually interested in your person until your person was very much focused on you then this person wanted to come in and it's like they wanted your person to focus on them this person has a very toxic mindset whoever this is that came in between okay they also seem to the person that came in between could be a capricorn doesn't have to be 
but they definitely have like a very toxic mindset they definitely yeah this person definitely had a goal of coming in between your connection because they it's like they felt that this person when focused on you very loyal to you and they didn't like that right Yeah, I am getting that there was a sexual connection between your person. Now, I am getting for some of you, this could be like a friend of yours, though, or somebody that you know. And whoever this is, it's like they're in secret competition with you. They also want to, like, take everything. It's like they're trying to take your blessings here, and I am getting that it definitely ended on your side. I am getting that you withdrew your energy, you started to focus on something else, somebody else, or maybe it was just yourself. Wow. So, the thing is, right, is, I am getting at the start of this whole connection, your person made a mistake, right? And the mistake comes in a form of... I am getting this was like a sexual connection, okay? It was like sort of giving into temptation. Um, the thing is, this person has learnt a lot from this mistake. This mistake has taught them to be very loyal. Like, they're never going to do that again, okay? And they also, they feel like they've lost you, right? This person is very spiritual now. Like... It's like they made this mistake and it made them realise when they lost you, it made them realise that they're in love with you and now they're very spiritual. I do see this person trying to... This is the type of person that, like, they sage, okay, they protect their energy now, okay, they're definitely a lot different to how you remember them. The thing is, I do see you being very stuck on this mistake that they made. And it's like, it also feels like very unforgivable as well, especially if this is like a friend or something that came in between your connection. Like it feels sort of unforgivable. Like I am getting that there's an energy where you feel like you can never forgive this person for what they've done. But again, they're definitely a whole different person, right? Um... You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Cancer. There was a choice that this person made. Like, the choice was love or lust. They chose lust. But the thing is, they didn't realise that it was love until after they chose lust. This person was very deep-rooted in their ego. Again, they have... They've grown, though. Like, they've definitely grown. Right? You've grown as well. There's an energy of this person. Like, they went off. Okay, they made mistakes, yes. But they went off. And they fixed the mistakes. And now, it's like they've made themselves... It's like they're very focused, you guys, are now at the same energy. This person very spiritual. This person, they seem to watch you a lot. They're very inspired by you. I'm hearing the one that got away. So it's like you definitely inspired this person. They felt like 
yeah, they made a mistake in the past, okay, but they're not the same person, right? Again, there's an energy of you not being able to forgive them. Or even if you did forgive them, this person feels like they feel like that you didn't forgive them, okay? And that's sort of what's stopping communication. But I do see this person coming in, being very direct, letting you know, letting you know how they really feel. And this person, they feel a very strong connection to you. They feel love with you, right? Like, and the thing is, this is a spiritual connection. And this person went off and they learnt. They, they, they basically went on this journey, okay, through this mistake that they made, which caused this separation. They went on this journey and they healed themselves so they can come back. And basically, this person's only focused on you, right? They realise that you make them very happy. They realise that you're unique, you're irreplaceable. The connection that you guys have, it, it, it's like it can't be explained. That this person feels like they can't... They, they've never met anybody like you that has made them feel this way. They feel like they can't get over you, right? This person realizes that they have to be, they have to come at you in a very authentic way. Like this person cannot lie to you. This person cannot try to deceive you. This person needs to be very, very honest, right? And they know that. In the past, this person was confusing, okay? They may have tried to come at you in sneaky ways. I'm getting like... Yeah, it's like they were trying to communicate, but they weren't being direct with it, okay? Um, this person's really feeling... They feel like they want to build a family, and they want you to be their wife or their husband. Like, they want to have a family with you. They want to, like, get married to you, okay? There's definitely a strong energy of them wanting to get married to you, right? I do see this person. They see your value, right? In the past, again, they made a lot of mistakes, okay? But they see your value. And this person... For some of you, maybe you have, like, kids with this person or something, or this person really wants to have children with you, right? This person wants to be loyal to you. They want to literally marry you with the Justice card here, the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, and the Ace of Cups. Guys, this person wants to marry you. We've got the Four of One here, too. There's a lot of marriage cards. There's a lot of commitment cards, right? I'm hearing Ash. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups in person, I do see them coming forward, communicating. They want a new beginning here with you. They see you as their happily ever after and the lovers, right? Like this person feels a very strong, very deep spiritual connection to you, right? They feel like they can laugh with you. Like, they just feel like you give them this feeling that nobody's ever given them before. This person's completely in love with you. Whoever this is, this person's completely in love with you and they're focused on you and only you, but I do see them making a mistake in the past. They've grown from it though. Like they've really grown. Like this this is a spiritual connection that it's made you grow and it's also made them grow. And this person, the amount of growing that they've done spiritually but not just spiritually, just like in general, okay? And it's inspired by this love. This is actually a really beautiful reading. This person doesn't even, they're not even interested in anyone but you. Like they see themselves marrying you. Could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Libra. That's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next reading. Bye.